14? I guess. 13 number one album. No, 13 number one songs. Songs. <laughs> we can't even remember, dude. I love it. It's a good problem to have. It's a good problem to have, I guess. I'm hanging out with Lou Combs, man. You have a crazy schedule. Thanks for stopping by Newport. Of course, man. Thanks for having us. Let the passion take us to a higher place. Making the kind of love we made. So let's jump into talking about the album, man. This is your third studio album. Mm -hmm. You work with Chip and Jonathan again. How are you guys approaching creating this project versus your last one? Not dr drastically different. The goal has always just been to have fun. And obviously getting to work with Chip and Jonathan has, has been really great. Drinking beer almost as cold as you. I look like I'm doing all right. I don't know, man, we joke a lot. We laugh a lot in there, but we also have fun, man, and we also want it to be the best that it can possibly be. And you say it's a good time, which I like, but I'm yeah. sure four albums in, you yeah. guys probably have a lot of personal stuff. So how has that relationship been to grow with yeah, them and, and talk about that? It's been cool, man. I've almost been married two years now, and, and so my life has changed, you know, quite a bit. I'm about to have a kid, and there are some songs that I think wouldn't have been on any of my other albums. I think that's the main difference. I still want to be the guy that goes out and has fun and puts on a great show, and that's of utmost importance to me. But there are also things that have become more important that I wasn't aware of or even able to understand until they started to happen. And you've also worked with Miranda Lambert. You yes. guys collaborated. So yes. tell me about how that came along in the song. Me and Dan had come up with this idea that we really loved called When It Rains in Seattle. When me and Miranda were, were tossing song ideas back and forth, I ended up on this When It Rains in Seattle thing. She was like, I love that idea. If you could make a Mount Rushmore of your favorite artists, this could be dead Ooh. or alive. Okay, we'll any go. genre or country? Any genre, oh, any okay. genre. That's you gotta put four on. artists yeah. up there. Who's on the Mount Rushmore of music for you, Luke? Mm, for people that have, that I feel like have influenced me personally, I'm trying to make it easier on myself. I would probably say Vince Gill would mm -hmm. be up there for me. Eric Church would be up there for me. Okay. Elton John would probably Ooh. be up there for me. There's a lot. Billy got, Joel would be in the oh conversation. Oh man, Billy Joel. For me, for He's sure. playing shows right now. He's playing yeah. New York like next yeah. week, I think. Well, I do want to play a game with you before okay. we get you out of okay. here. It's a fill in the blank game. Okay. I'm just gonna say like a it. phrase real quick. You'd be shocked to learn that I'm a big fan of cats. Cats? Yeah. No, I'm a dog guy as okay. well. Okay. But also love cats, man. I feel like cats get a lot of unwarranted hate, man, and I do like a good cat. Okay, you probably wouldn't guess this, but I'd love to work with um, Adele. Adele? Yeah. All right, the worst job I've ever had was U Haul. U Haul? U Haul. I can actually see yeah. you doing yeah. the U Haul, though. Yeah, man. I did. It's, <laughs> That's a tough job. It was, it was tough, man. I actually got fired. And if I could cross over to one genre, it would be. Rap. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so now I need the Luke rap album with <laughs> yes, an Adele, Adele feature. With an Adele feature. Boom. I'll Fifth album. It's coming. Yep, it's coming. Absolutely. Thanks so much for hanging <laughs> out with course, us today, man. Thank yes, you. Sir. Luke's album Growing Up drops June 24th. Go to Billboard.com for all the latest in music news.